Hi guys, have you ever taken a driving class? Learning to drive is so confusing. I ended up asking multiple questions to the instructor like what do I use to go ahead or slow down or to turn around? But he seemed to give me the same answer for all, the accelerator. Let's use some concepts of physics to figure out why the accelerator was his answer for everything. Most often, we think of acceleration as speeding up. After all, isn't that pedal on a car called an accelerator? When a car slows down, we sometimes call that a deceleration. But that's a word that scientists don't use. When a car slows down, it's changing its velocity. So, it is accelerating. So, if you want to label the parts of a car as a scientist would, you would call the gas pedal the accelerator because it tends to change the velocity of the car. You would call the brake pedal also the accelerator because it tends to change the velocity of the car. And you would call the steering wheel the accelerator as well because it tends to change the velocity of the car by changing its direction. Let's try and rethink multiple situations around us in which we may have confused these terms. Look at the moon. Does the moon accelerate? It's moving in a circular path around the earth and thus changing direction. Because the moon is changing its direction of motion, it's accelerating. What about a falling object? As an object falls, it speeds up. That is a change in speed and therefore a change in direction. So we can say that the broom is accelerating. On an interesting note, if falling objects did not accelerate, a parachute would never be invented, right? Let's take a look at this scenario. The toy top is spinning and is staying at one place on the floor. So is it accelerating? This one is a bit tricky. If the top stays in one place on the floor, you might not think it's accelerating. However, just pour a couple of drops of water on the edge of the top. The water droplets would be thrown away because each part of the top changes its direction as the top spins. There is a change in velocity, which is why it can be said that the top is accelerating. It's time for me to go now, but before I leave, here's some food for thought. A book sitting on the table doesn't accelerate, does it? Okay, that's a tiny lie. The table and the book are on the surface of the earth, and the earth is spinning, so the book really is accelerating. It is just like a man sleeping inside a train and feels like he hasn't moved for hours, but when he wakes up, He's in a new city altogether. If you think physics is cool, please give a thumbs up to your teacher. Bye!